unfortunately, you know, while that does help, that doesn't always work. And today I want to talk to you guys about just gaining confidence and learning how to be confident. And I can sit here and tell you guys honestly that I have not always been confident. I mean, even now I have days where I just feel down about myself, but those are very few and far between because I have constantly worked on myself. My cat is being ninja down here. Um, you know, I just, you know, I felt like I looked more masculine when I didn't have makeup on because I've always been athletic and, you know, had a very athletic body. And I would be insecure because I'm not as social as I used to be. So when I get around social situations, I kind of overthink it and think that I'm being awkward or weird. And I just really worked on myself. And I want to give you guys some tips on how to work on becoming confident. So the first thing I'm going to say is this. My cat is here making noises and stuff. But the first thing I'm going to say is this. We all have goals, we all have dreams. I think it is important to always be working towards those goals and dreams, but I also think it is important to be happy with where you are in the present. I think while maybe you have a dream to have a big house so you can host large get-togethers and stuff, you should be happy that you have a small home, that you have a roof over your head that's very homey and cozy and people feel safe when they come to your house. Little things like that, I just, I think that's the most important thing for being happy and being confident. It's just knowing that your life can only go up but really being happy with where you are. Now, this is what I'm going to start like with five steps on how to be confident. And the first one is going to be always talk positive to yourself. Any of that negativity, throw it out the window. Stop. Stop right now. Look at me and listen to what I'm going to say. Every single day, I want you to look in the mirror, whether you are getting ready, getting dressed, or just meditating. Look in the mirror and say three things that you like your, like about yourself. It doesn't necessarily have to be um, physical, but you know if you could see it, then you know point at it. Like really make it a point to tell yourself what you like about yourself. Like maybe I would look at myself and say, I like my hair. I have thick, strong hair. Um, I like my eyebrows. I hear that I have nice thick eyebrows. I don't know. It's just every day three things that you like about yourself. Say that to yourself. And then also turn anything negative that you say about yourself and make it a positive. Like for instance, for me, I'm going to be putting it out on camera and really pointing out what I always thought was a flaw. I have a crooked chin. Like my chin leans more to one side than the other and not only that I have a very you know dominant prominent chin it is there and I get picked on for it I get called that I, I people say I have the Jay Leno chin whatever and growing up I was always really self-conscious about that and I would take photos in a way that kind of lessened the appearance of it but now I embrace it I'm like it makes me who I am like I'm beautiful I'm good with it and if I'm happy with it, I don't care what anybody else thinks. So anything you want to say negative about yourself, turn it, find some way to turn it into a positive and you'll start seeing the positive a little more than the negative. Also, do something for yourself every single day. Something that makes you happy, something that is you time. And I know it doesn't have to be anything crazy. I'm not saying go out every day and get a pedicure or go out every day and have a massage. For me, the thing that makes me happy and puts me in a good headspace is taking a long shower. And I know that's probably horrible, but I that's my time to have my husband with the kids and I just get to be there, you know, taking care of myself and washing my face really well and washing my hair really well and shaving and it's just my relaxation time. As well as when I'm cooking in the kitchen, I'll put my iPad on a coffee bin and I will put on YouTube and watch that. That's me time. That makes me happy. Next, surround yourself with positive people. I did a post about this on Facebook last night. I cannot say enough what a big difference this makes. If you are constantly 
you know, hanging out or following on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, whatever, people that are just negative and constantly saying negative things about other people, negative things about themselves, you are who you hang out with. Like when you are a negative person, you're going to attract negative people and people that are very self-conscious. So, you know, follow people, follow individuals and hang out with people that are successful, people that are really confident, not cocky, but confident, just that they feel good about themselves and they don't care what anybody else says because eventually their confidence will start to rub off on you. The next step, self-development. Again, another key one in the beach body business that I'm in, you know, self-development isn't necessarily a part of our game plan, but it's something that we push to all of our coaches because Self-development, it helps you to learn about how people react to things or how people, you know, relate or just any, it helps you learn about people. It helps you learn about yourself. It helps you learn how to deal with people better. And when you're constantly reading things, you get these aha moments all the time. They're like, why am I complicating my life? Like, this is so easy. The law of attraction. Life is about the law of attraction. Watch the movie The Secret. That's what it's all about. When you are learning about other people, you start to learn about yourself. And when you're putting out good stuff and commenting and complimenting other people, it comes back to you. So just always be reading about people, reading about yourself. Okay, so my memory card cut out in the middle of what I was saying. So I was talking about self-development and I said I was going to post some of my favorite self-development books below. Just some fun books that I read to you know, self-development. Okay, and then the fifth one is maybe not the most popular method of gaining confidence, but I say fake it till you make it. And I don't mean completely become a different person and fake your whole life and lie about who you are because everyone has struggles, everyone has a journey, everyone has a story, and that story is how people relate to you. That story is how people feel close to you and feel like they can trust you and hopefully they can, um, but what I mean by fake it till you make it is just putting confidence out to the world. Wear things that make you feel good, and when you feel good, go out and show that you're confident. Go out with your, you know, your head held high and your shoulders back and your chest out and just smile at people because the more you do for others, the more you smile at someone and you get that smile back, you're going to start feeling good about yourself because you're like, I am making a difference in somebody else's life. I am making somebody happy. I am making somebody smile. And in turn, that makes me happy. That is why my job is so gratifying because every day I'm helping people with, you know, losing weight or feeling confident or with organization and bettering their life. And when I do that for other people, I feel good about myself. Even little things like when I go to the coffee drive through I will pay the bill of the person behind me. And just knowing that I've hopefully made a little bit of a difference in somebody's day, like gave somebody hope and humanity, that makes me feel good as well. So these are my tips for gaining confidence. I know I ramble all the time. I'm such a rambler. But I hope that you know it makes sense and I hope this helps you. And I just want to tell you that everybody is beautiful in their own way. No matter what anybody tells you, everybody has something that makes them special and that makes them unique. And as long as you grab onto that and just really know that you are your own person and you're an individual and no one else is exactly like you, then you will start to really understand how special you are. I hope this helps. Thumbs it up if you like these kind of rambly talking videos and leave a comment below with one trick that you do to kind of trick your mind into feeling confident on a bad day. I will see you guys later. Bye!